Hey, what's up guys? I've been doing a lot recently in my landscape photography of working with creative expression. And I, I don't think it's unusual for us to like get so caught up in settings and style and you know compositional fundamentals that you really just have to dial down and nail every single time. I also think you can definitely get caught up in going out and having this mindset of I have to get like a portfolio worthy shot every time I put my boots on the ground. And that's just not too realistic. And I, I've really been thinking about this concept a lot in my own landscape photography. And it, it just causes a lot of stress. It causes us to be worked up about the images that we photograph and it takes the fun out of it so much. So one of the things that I was thinking about the other day was, well, why did I even get involved in landscape photography? Like, why did I love it in the first place so much? And don't get me wrong, I still love it every single day. I go out and shoot or try to get out every single day and shoot something or anything and just work on a, a technique that I want to get better at. And I think that when you go with the approach to landscape photography of why you got in it in the first place, and that's the same for everybody, we just like being outside and we like taking photos of things that look cool to us. That's why you grabbed a camera in the first place. That's why you started taking photos on your iPhone or smartphone, whatever you shot with, GoPro, and then upgraded to something like a mirrorless or DSLR. And I think getting around that and start shooting for the love of it again and remembering that every time we go out and shoot, taking the approach of slow photography, like the video that I shared you know, a couple weeks ago that you can see on your screen right now on the card, is just, what do you do? Like when you get outside, do you stress about the photos you're getting or do you work on the mood and the space of where you are? And that's what I'm doing today. Taking a drone out for the first time all year. I know it sounds insane. Dave, why did you purchase a drone when you don't even use it that much? Today, I'm finally taking it out and getting some fall color. Okay, so now that I'm up in the air, like drones, why drones? Like, why do you go to drones? Well, every time that I get in like this rut in landscape photography, I always go to drones because it gives me a whole different view and perspective of whatever I'm shooting, whether that's a location that I've been to a lot or a brand new location that I'm scouting out like this one. And it just gives me a whole different perspective. And I kind of lump like those intimate detail landscapes that feature just like leaves on the ground or something like that, or just like tree trunks with fall leaves around it, anything like that. I kind of lump in with drones because those kind of shots and then drone shots are kind of the same thing because you get this weird view or perspective from the photographer that you don't really get any other time unless you're you know, in a helicopter or looking out of a plane window or something. So what I basically do and what I've done here is just like I'm looking on my drone right now, flew off, pretty dicey takeoff by the way, and extended my viewpoint to anything within this forest around me that has fall color. That can be anything from like this pond that I shot a photo of that's predominantly in the middle of the frame with fall color all the way around it. And then I basically just like kept flying around. You know, I have 30 minutes on my drone battery that I can use to fly anywhere I want and try to find cool things that just look interesting to me. And then basically what I'll do is I'll rotate around that and try to find the best vantage point or the best you know, angle at which those frame up a good composition best. And it's the exact same workflow that I use when I shoot intimate landscapes and when I shoot small things on the ground. I'm just looking for a good angle. I might have my camera this way 
or my drone this way, and then I'll rotate my camera or drone this way and see if that frames up the scene a little bit better and makes a little bit more sense. So I'm always looking for the flow and the direction of my subjects in intimate scenes or in drone photography and just anything that inspires me really. Anything that I see that I think looks cool, pairing up colors and shapes and, and just ideas, frameworks. And, and the reason that I love like this shot that I got of the pond in the middle of these fall leaves is like fall is fast, the leaves are falling, you wanna get those shots in before they all fall off the trees. And it's like, it's almost like this chaotic season, you know, photographers at the end of October and November are just totally worked and we're like ready for the leaves to fall off the tree because we're tired of, you know, waking up at four in the morning going out to shoot. But you have all this chaoticness going on around the pond, but the pond is just tranquil. It's negative space, it's still, and it shows paradox in the composition. It shows interesting features that are completely unlike one another, but they pair really well in the scene. And I just love seeing that like from a bird's eye perspective here, seeing that tranquility but then also seeing like chaotic mess around it of different color trees and leaves falling and you know a rush to get everything done. It kind of takes you into the mind of the photographer and just gives you a viewpoint into what they're seeing, whether they're on the ground looking down or like on a drone like I am right now getting a bird's eye view of this whole scene. So I don't know, I guess the whole general idea of this entire video is just remember why you loved photography in the first place. Take your camera out, shoot whatever inspires you, keep compositional fundamentals in, in your mindset, but also don't be afraid to ditch them. Don't be afraid to just look for cool things that pair up well together in an image like I'm doing here today. This pond is like amazing. It's, you know, it's cloudy right now. It's not supposed to rain for another 30 minutes or so. I'll probably just hang out here. I have my rain gear. I'll probably just hang out here, watch everything that happens and just enjoy some peacefulness before the leaves all fall off the trees and I have to wake up again tomorrow at four in the morning. Sounds like I don't love what I do, but I truly do. I'm gonna wish fall was back in about a week or so. I promise you that.